Hey, man, have you ever been bit by a tick, Mike? Yeah. You have? Of course. Okay. I mean, not yeah. everybody has. Is everybody Raise your hand in the room. You've been bit by a tick? You, you pulled it off? No. No, I, I, I know better than that. Did somebody else pull it off? Okay. You, you, anybody else over here? Everybody in the room had a tick bite. Yeah. I had my first shit. All right. I've never had a tick bite where you got bit. <laughs> that, I, that one's a new one. I don't get it. Where did you get bit? On my head. Yeah, I've never had a tick bite on my oh, head. Oh, really? No. So I've picked a lot of, I've, I mean, picked a lot of ticks off of me. When we, when we bought the farm um, back in who knows when, 1980 something, dad had us walking all, up, all out in the woods, you know, uh, marking with trees and, and they go paint the, the property line. And, you know, back then, man, we were picking ticks off left and right. But I've never had a tick bite me. That to me was a, uh, uh, sketchy and scary. So I haven't been out in the woods or nothing, right? I've not been wandering through the, the weeds, which is where I associate uh, ticks live, right? Uh, but And I know ticks can get on my dog and all that. Um, I am... Isla is graduating kindergarten. And uh, for all the parents out there, most of them, they do the graduation thing now. They didn't do that when I was in kindergarten or preschool. You didn't have a graduation. You just preschool was over and you went to the next school. I'm sure yours was the same, Mike. But now there's there's a thing, right? And so the school has a the the school has a you know a little ceremony, and we went through that. And then we were gonna go next door and eat, and we we're gonna invite all the all the parents that wanted to come. And, and they're going to bring their kids. So we go over to this room in this restaurant next to the school, and there's about six or eight kids and their parents and me and Amy and Isla. And, uh, man, it's mayhem, kids running around in this room. There's there's balloons and, you know, cupcakes, and everybody's trying to order food, and it's just chaos. And I've been sitting in there for a while, and... I don't know why, but I rubbed the side of my head, you know, and it must have been the tick actually biting me. I didn't, I don't remember feeling anything, but I just instinctually like rubbed the side of my head and I'm like, what in the hell is that? I felt it and I grabbed it and I yanked it off and I, and I looked briefly at it and threw it on the floor. <laughs> How big was it, you reckon? Um, Rather, it sounds big. Yeah, if you it was felt a, it like that. Yeah, it was about almost the size of a top of a of a pencil eraser. Not, yeah, that not. I mean, legs and all, right? It was. It wasn't tiny. No. Um, and all right, my initial reaction was, "What the hell is that? Grab it, pull it, throw it down, like out of my hands." And then immediately, I went. I shouldn't have thrown that on the ground. Right. Let me look down. Is it going somewhere, right? But it's laying on its back, flailing its arms. And I'm sitting there for, it seemed like forever, but it was literally seconds, and I was like, damn it, did that just happen? I got a tick bite. So I've had a friend of mine who had uh, some issues from a tick bite. So I've got this paranoia already. Like, damn it. You know, what does this mean? And so... Uh, I was like, oh man, maybe I should pick it up. So I, I, I need, I need, I need to know. I don't even know if it's a tick. What if it's not a tick? Of course it's a tick, but I don't know if it's a tick. I haven't really looked at it. So I grab this napkin and I've got this empty glass that I drank some orange juice in. It's empty. And I pick it up and I look at it and it's freaking a tick immediately. I'm like, damn it. So I ball it up in this napkin and I put it in this cup and I'm sitting there looking at it. And now I'm Googling. I get on my phone. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Google's like, 42% of ticks carry Lyme disease and all this bad news, right? And I'm, I'm not diving into the details, right? I'm, I'm reading all the, all the bad headlines and just spiraling into panic mode. And uh, also, while I was Googling, I found out that you can send these off. Get them tested, right? Hmm. And I'm like, I'm definitely, I definitely need to do that. We need to send this guy off and get him tested. And so I don't want to wonder, 
Because they're like, hey, you know, if there's any kind of reaction to this, it's it's one or 20 days. Who knows, right, when, when you're going to have some sort of reaction. And the reactions are symptoms that are common symptoms of all types of illnesses. So I'm going to be sitting there going, hmm, that, is this the tick bite that's happening here? And I got a little... Nothing can happen I without got, you assuming the worst. I got some aches and pains. I mean, what's going on here? Tick bite. That's right. So I'm absolutely assuming the worst, and I'm panicking inside. And uh, anyhow, a- Amy sits down. She's like, what's going on? And I was like, man, I pulled a damn t- I mean, I, t- I say it real quiet. I don't, I don't want anybody in the room knowing what's going on if they don't already, right? They have to see. There's not a chance you were stealthy about this. I know, <laughs> right? I don't, I don't know who's seen what's going on, and I'm sitting in there going, Shit. Um, And so I'm like, Amy, I think I, I, I pulled a tick off my head. It's in this cup. What the hell? And so um, I, uh, I called Kelly, and she ended up looking up how to mail it out, and we sent it off. And that was Thursday, last Thursday. And I got my results, and it's all good. It was a dog tick. The deer ticks are the ones with all the, mainly most of the diseases. I mean, dog ticks, I'm sure, can carry some, but there's there's some there's some ticks that are, are bad and some ticks that are not so bad. And uh, luckily, I got uh one of the least dangerous ones and there was and this uh you know this paperwork again, apparently they test this tick i'm taking them at their word and everything came back negative and one of the um i think the one thing to take away from it is apparently more people are bitten by ticks than i thought yes um i talked to latard about it and he's like oh man i pulled so many damn ticks off of me back up in maine when me and my friends were running around in the woods building you know tree houses and stuff uh, but the other thing too is, is that, um, obviously you know this, but I panic <laughs> and f- assume the worst in every situation. Amy said, and I'll never forget this, um, this might be a good t-shirt or a, or a coffee mug or a her qu- Amy's quote was, it's nothing until it's something. And I thought, man, that's a, that's how I'm going to try to feel about this. And then I went to Indy. And waited on my results. Whether or not that becomes a T-shirt that we sell, I definitely want to get that T-shirt made for you to yeah. have with you every day. It's because nothing, you're right. It's that nothing is nothing until it's something. So it's funny. Um, I want to give you such a hard time about this because uh, it's funny to me. Sorry, that, that, I mean, you read, I, hold up. Lyme disease is serious. Oh, people, yeah. people that have had Lyme disease, like that is no joke, right? right. Yeah. No joke, and it's long. It like it takes, uh, you know, for a long a long time to get past it. Yeah. Um, I don't know that the word like what when I hear you tell that story, I'm thinking of something completely different than Lyme disease that I thought that you were scared of. Yeah. When you pull a tick off, don't you have to pull it off a very specific way? Or like I'd always learned burn it off because you don't want to pull it off and the head would stay in it. So when you're looking at a tick, aren't you looking to see if it still has its head? Because if the head stays in, it could be just as problematic. I know. Hey, I did not know all this. Yeah, I felt it and wanted it out of my life, and so I pulled on the damn thing. Luckily, I mean, we sent it off to get it examined. They didn't ask us, "Hey, where's the head?" Well, can we send you off to get examined, <laughs> and maybe we can find out if the head's still in there? There, the head was there. I okay. sent it to the lab, and the lab didn't go. What the hell? A headless tick? Yeah, yeah. You got bigger problems than what you think. That head is in there, just chomping you away. You didn't pull it off. Yeah, is, is that a is that a uh, is that a false thing? Like, I've always heard that. Is that not true about ticks? By the way, I'm looking in the room. I is know. anybody in can, can the head get stuck in there? Is that a problem? Don't you have to pull it off a specific way? No. I think that okay. you may be onto something, Mike. But, and I, I think, I think they, when I was looking up all this stuff, they were very particular about how you remove it. Like, got it. You got to grab it a certain way, pull it like straight out. Yeah. There was a, and, and I, I believe that, uh, luckily I must have, I must have not ventured too far off of the uh, preferred method. I mean, this thing came off my head, and it still had a little bit of me attached. So I not only I not only did not sever the head, but he got to have a little lunch on his way to the lab. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> Listen, um, 
<laughs> I, I I don't think it's an accident that you're just telling that story and not the whole day because the whole day is actually a funny story. What too. happened? Well, when you called me and you're like, I've had a day. <laughs> yeah. I have had a day. And I'm like, well, what's going on? Well, it started with this <laughs> this graduation performance, right? With, oh. And so the tick story was like the last of a, of a was, comedy yeah. of things that happened. And you don't have to get into right. it. No, don't do it. In fact, don't. But I'm just saying the tick story was the last. It's like just the icing on the cake, yeah. which that to me is the funny part is that I can only imagine. You probably reacted the way somebody would if they'd been amputated. <laughs> 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 the way your day had gone that yeah. so far. It was a, uh, it was a day. It was a day. A lot of emotion. 